DNA cloning is a method for isolating a particular sequence of DNA from a complex mixture of different DNA sequences. In order to clone a fragment of DNA, we need to insert it into a vector, usually a highly modified phage or plasmid, that can replicate in a host cell. Generally, a plasmid vector contains three elements. A cloning site where the foreign DNA fragment can be inserted, a drug resistance gene which destroys antibiotics, in this case ampicillin, to allow selective growth of the host cell, and a replication origin to allow the plasmid to replicate in the host cell. To insert foreign DNA, we must first use a restriction enzyme to cleave the vector at the cloning site. Here, ECOR1 cleaves the palindromic sequence GAATTC to produce single-stranded ends called sticky ends. These can hybridize with any piece of DNA that has also been cut with ECOR1. Foreign DNA containing the sequence we wish to clone is digested with ECOR1 and then mixed with the cleave vector. The sticky ends of the foreign and plasma DNA molecules hybridize and then are sealed into phosphodiester linkages by the enzyme DNA ligase, creating a recombinant plasmid. Each of these recombinant plasmids contains the inserted DNA fragment, an ampicillin resistance gene, and a replication origin. A pool or library of circular recombinant plasmids is thus created. Each plasmid carries a unique fragment of foreign DNA, as indicated by the colored arrows. Next, the host cells, E. coli bacteria, are added to the recombinant plasmids. The cells have been treated with calcium chloride to make them permeable to DNA molecules. Through a process called transformation, a few cells take up a recombinant plasmid, while most other cells do not. The bacterial cells are poured onto a plate of nutrient auger containing the antibiotic ampicillin. With ampicillin in the auger, only cells resistant to the drug can grow. At 37 degrees, the cells will grow and multiply. Because they cannot move on the auger, each will produce a separate colony of cells. The non-transformed cells lack the plasmid with the ampicillin resistance gene and die. Cells that have a plasmid are resistant to ampicillin and survive. The replication origin allows the plasmid to replicate by using the host cell's enzymes. Plasmid replication is independent of host cell division, but plasmids are distributed to each daughter cell when the host cell divides. As the plasmids replicate and the host cells multiply, the number of copies of the recombinant plasmid is greatly amplified. The multiple daughter cells form a colony or clone. Because all the host cells in a colony are derived from a single cell, they all contain copies of the same recombinant plasmid with its fragment of foreign DNA. A variety of assay methods can now be used on the bacterial colonies to determine which contains the particular DNA sequence we wish to isolate.